Probably a good idea, everybody, to take the option of uh, staying indoors and maybe giving uh, your dog or cat a bath. Uh, probably the dog. The cats don't like the water so much. Or giving them some treats because it's very, very cold outside. We've got temps in the uh, single digits in some areas. Here in Grand Rapids, uh, we are situated in the low to middle teens. That's because... Clouds have tended to increase recently and had mentioned that yesterday morning that that was uh, a good possibility as a weak upper level disturbance swinging on through would increase some clouds also produce uh, scattered flurries, particularly over towards the lakeshore. We'll get to that radar momentarily only working our way to 23 today. So as we mentioned today would just be the valley of this colder phase yesterday topped out at 26 a few degrees lesser than that today. But improvement does start to kick in tomorrow afternoon, and you will notice that. So we're going to carry that into the upcoming weekend. Current temperatures on the board, 6 in Fremont, 7 in Big Rapids. We're 16 in Grand Rapids. Winds are pretty light, so even though uh, you, you get a little breeze, yes, it does make it feel cooler, obviously. They're not uh, real common, nor are they strong. On the other side of the lake, though, as is typically the case, uh, usually colder, and it is without that, uh, without that influence from Lake Michigan. Milwaukee and Chicago got uh, wind chills running below zero to start off this Thursday. So very cold, yes, for this February 20th now, but uh, staying dry looks like for the most part, other than a couple flurries near the lakeshore in the short term. Beautiful weekend weather. Been talking about that for quite some time. No surprises, no changes with that Friday, Saturday, Sunday forecast. And then it does look like we are going to turn colder again next week. So I would say, oh, around next Wednesday and in through that following weekend, it does look like another Arctic surge that means business will be dropping southward out of Canada. And we'll see how long that can linger because uh, some of these models that go into the month of March want to continue on with some troughiness over the eastern United States, which would lend itself towards cooler times. Not all the time, folks. Once you get into March, you do have that uh, prospect to warm up every now and then and warm up substantially. So we'll see how it does play out. High pressure out to our west to start today. That'll be working down to the southeast with time. Once we get on the back side of that tomorrow, that's when things start to warm up on southwest winds. But at the moment, we've got more widespread cloud cover versus what we had yesterday at this time, and that is leading to a couple flurries nearer the lakeshore. Now watch the RPM model picks up on uh, the weak little streamer right along the lakeshore in the short term. I do believe we are going to be fighting mostly cloudy skies for several hours this morning and early afternoon. There can be a couple breaks for sunshine in there, though, especially away from the lake. So if you live along the lake, likely to hold on to more clouds. We'll be fighting clouds in GR. You get inland towards a Lansing and Ionia. Better opportunity for some sun to poke through those clouds. And then late day after around 3, 4 o'clock, that's probably when we get our better shot for sunshine uh, to show up. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow, Crystal clear sunshine, and I mean a minimal, if any, clouds around for Friday into Saturday. Watch those uh, the lines on the map. Those are isobars. They start to tilt from southwest to northeast, and that is indicative of breezier conditions. Friday into Saturday and Sunday, there's barely any clouds around right on through Sunday. But later Sunday night into Monday, there'll be a system passing to our south that'll likely bring a period of some light rain, maybe mixed light snow. Does not look to be a real big deal. But the colder air will start to come back into the equation. I'll have more on that to come. You can start to see signs of it next Wednesday, 33, with some snow showers.